What's going on guys, it's David here, and today I thought I would bring you guys another video on what I'm currently using for gym gear in 2019. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into it. What's going on guys, it's David here, and today I thought I would give you guys a look at my 2019 gym bag essentials. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop into it. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas, New Year's holiday season. I decided to take a little bit of time off to refocus, to focus on the new content that I'm creating. But in the meantime, I thought I would give you guys a quick look at what I'm currently using on a day-to-day -day basis at the gym. Now, the first item on my list and probably the item that I feel was the best purchase this year is the Stank Strap from Anderson Supply Co. I really like this strap because A, it's really cheap and B, it's really durable and it does one purpose and one thing only and that's make sure my knee sleeves are dry and make sure that they're smelling fresh. Now, this is really, really easy to install. It can install on any bag that you have, whether you have a duffel bag, whether you have a backpack or whether you have Anderson Supply Co's signature uh, gym bag 3.0 or 2.0, whichever one it is. But essentially it has two carabiners you clip one to one side, you clip the other to the other side, you unlock it whenever you want to put your uh, knee sleeves on and you just, yeah, it's pretty much straightforward, easy to use. And I find that every day that I use it, it solidifies more and more that it was the best purchase that I made. Another dope thing about these stank straps and all of Anderson Supply Co's products is that they're all made in the US and it's a small business. So you know that your dollars are going to a business that is really helping the economy and that really has a passion for the weightlifting and fitness industry. Next on my list is the Stance Feel 360 training socks and I really like these socks because I use them every day. I've never had any issues with socks ripping or tearing in the last two to three years where I've only been exclusively wearing Stance socks. They have tons of great designs. I will admit they are a little bit more on the pricier side, but you get what you pay for. With the th Feel 360 sock, you get silver ions embedded into the yarn that help with reducing odor causing bacteria. These socks will also keep your feet feeling cool and dry on the most intense workouts, whether you're weightlifting or you're crossfitting. So in the end, you do pay a little bit more. Like I said, it's about anywhere from 10 to $16 for a pair of socks, but you're going to get a pair of socks that's going to last you a very long time. And when you're training, you want to be wearing things that are extremely comfortable. And with stance socks, I cannot add or say any more to how durable and how of a, how much of a great value you're getting for the money that you're spending. Next on this list is the Virus International Iconic Recovery Pant. And I really like these pants because I can wear them when I'm training or on days when I really don't feel like dressing up and I can wear them to work. They really, really look nice. They're a, uh, the pair that I have are the Stealth Camo. Uh, their fit seems to hold their shape fairly well. They are fairly durable, haven't had any issues as far as ripping or tearing. I will say that I only have had them for a month, but they've probably been the most comfortable joggers that I've had, that I wear them multiple times a week, and they just are super comfortable, and yeah, there's not much to say outside of the fact that um, they're just a great pair of joggers that look extremely well. I will say that the only downside to these pants is that they don't have a pack pocket, which is kind of a little bit of a downer for me because I would like to have my wallet separate from like my keys and my phone and things like that. But for, again, for how comfortable they are, I can put up with such a little inconvenience. Next on the list is ZKC Intensive Weightlifting Straps. I really like these straps. I've had them for about a year and a half now and they're just really, really durable. They're a little bit wider than their normal style grips. Um, and also they're fairly cheap at about $18 plus shipping. You're gonna get a pair of weightlifting straps that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis and not have to worry about them ripping or tearing and they just hold the bar really nice when you strap up and they're fairly comfortable. They're not too thick. Um, there are some other brands of weightlifting straps out there where the leather or the material that they use is just a little bit too thick for me and I found that with this brand and this style of weightlifting strap, uh, these tend to uh, just again hold the bar well. I don't have any issues with worrying about not being able to secure 
the barbell and I'm gonna turn off my light right now. Next on my list is a weightlifting shoe and that's the Reebok Legacy Lifter. I really like this shoe. It's a shoe that I've been using for a better part of this last year. Previously before that, I was using the Reebok Lifter Plus 2.0 and that was an okay weightlifting shoe, but when I transitioned to the Reebok Legacy Lifter, I noticed that the, there was a little bit of an increase in the heel height, and I was able to hit depth in a lot of my lifts that I wasn't really actually hitting in my Lifter 2.0s. Another thing that I really like this sh about this shoe is that the straps really help to make sure that you feel like your foot is extremely secure without restricting any sort of ankle mobility. So I've found that I've actually been able to hit a, a full set, a full squat snatch or a full squat clean in these shoes that I wasn't really able to hit in most other weightlifting shoes. So I really like this shoe. I use it every day that I train. I train anywhere from three to five days and especially on those heavy Oli days uh, where I want to you know, hit some serious numbers. These shoes have been the shoes that I've been wearing to hit those numbers. I PR'd my snatch, my clean and jerk. And again, these are just personal experiences, but I have really found that these are extremely comfortable shoe as far as ankle mobility. And you really feel like your, your foot is secure in this shoe. Now this next shoe is gonna be a little bit more of a controversial pick, but this last year, I really enjoyed training in the Nike Flyknit 2 DSX Metcons. Now, I really like this shoe just because of the Flyknit alone. I think the Flyknit material is probably the best material as far as training goes. A, it's extremely durable. B, your foot breathes like heck. Um, and it just hugs your foot extremely well and molds to your foot. So it almost feels like you don't actually have a shoe at all. It's almost like wearing a sock. Um, it's a one piece upper. Uh, a lot of the times I actually don't even tie my uh, laces in these shoes because they're that darn comfortable. Um, I know the Metcon Flyknit DSX 3s have uh, just come out a few weeks ago. So I do plan on upgrading those and testing those out and giving you guys a full review on these shoes. But uh, I will say downside to the Flyknit DSX2s is that they aren't the best shoe for running, but if you're doing any workout where there's tons of barbell work that you need to do, uh, there's no question that this shoe will definitely perform and respond to the movements that you need to res them to respond to. Now, the next item on this list that I use every single day is my Apple Watch. Now, uh, the Apple Watch is really nice because it has a ton of native integrated health apps that you can use to track your health and fitness. So the biggest thing that I use is the workout app so I can track my workouts, whether it's rowing, whether it's running, or whether it's a high intensity interval training session. And it tracks it fairly well with its accelerometer. Also a cool thing is other third party apps integrate into the Apple Watch itself. So things like MyFitnessPal or MapMyRun will add to the calorie expenditure that you are expending for that day. So this is a really cool dope uh, watch that I feel is probably the best fitness tracker uh, on the market at this moment. I've done a full review on it and I'll link it below so you can see all the details if you've never actually had an Apple Watch. Another gym essential that I can't live without are my Apple AirPods. Uh, I, I actually, it's it's been a love-hate relationship with this item because I do not actually like these headphones very much for the sound quality. They're not the greatest uh, for bass or for just dynamic sound, but in terms of A, portability, they're always charged and I don't actually have to worry about cables. So it's like a true wireless experience. It just makes these probably the best wireless headphones that you could get for your money. Now, the great thing about these is whether you're on Android or you're there on iOS, you can use them both. Uh, obviously with Android, you won't be able to use the native control like the tap to skip, but at the end of the day for what you're getting for about 160 bucks, you're getting a true wireless headphone experience. And I've never had any issue with the earbuds falling out when I'm training. And I, again, I use these probably four to five days a week when I'm training because I usually train uh, weightlifting by myself uh, and I've had zero issues as far as earbuds falling out. So for what that says, uh, I would definitely recommend checking these headphones out. Next on this list and the last item on this list are the Exo Sleeve five millimeter knee sleeves. Initially, I wasn't using these as much as when I was using my rock tape uh, kneecaps and I had used those for a very long time because they're seven millimeter and I thought that would give me some sort of advantage as far as only lifting with the thicker knee sleeves but in the end I think it actually was probably the biggest uh, factor in me developing patella tendonitis with the constricted blood flow and uh, when I switched over to using for a while I took a break from using these sleeves 
And then I decided that I was gonna start using my exo sleeves a little bit more. And now I use these pretty much every day that I train, whether I'm doing weightlifting or I'm doing CrossFit. And the nice thing about these knee sleeves is that they are stitched and engineered in a way that optimizes blood flow and reduces swelling like most others. But the cool thing about these ones is that they actually are engineered uh, with a slight curve to almost mimic the uh, anatomy of your leg. So I've just found that I can just wear these all the time. These ones are the five millimeter that I use and I don't really ever have as much issues as far as patella tendonitis pain. And it's been that way for the last three to five months. So for whatever that says, uh, if you're in the market looking for a pair of knee sleeves, these ones I would definitely recommend because of the fact that you can use these pretty much any day of the week, have no issues as far as durability or stitching, things falling apart and they sell them as pairs. So you're paying about 50 bucks for two pairs of knee sleeves. There's a lot of other companies out there that will charge you anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks for one knee sleeve, which I think is a little bit more expensive. So uh, again, I like these also because they're actually pretty affordable compared to other knee sleeve brands like Rehab Band on the market. So I would definitely recommend checking out those. So guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments below what products you guys are currently using as far as uh, your health and fitness gym essentials. Uh, I would love to do more reviews on new products. So if any of you guys suggest stuff that I should definitely check out, I would love to check that out and do a review for everybody else. Also, I do wanna apologize. I haven't been as active in the comments lately. I've been pretty busy. Most of the time when I post a video, it's while I'm at work. Uh, and so throughout the day, a lot of times I forget to respond to comments, but 2019, that's all gonna change. So make sure to guys, you guys leave those comments down below. Hopefully in the future, I'll be also be able to do some giveaways and things like that for you guys. The goal for this year is let's grow this community to a thousand subscribers. Uh, so if you guys can do that, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel uh, and like the video if you enjoyed today's video and guys that is going to be it for today's episode as always may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black this is david and i catch you guys in the next video peace